Hello and welcome everybody to the Skill Bharat Samman podcast. Today we have a very very special guest, Miss Caroline Vaz. If you could please introduce yourself. Uh, good morning, everyone, and good morning, Shreyansh, and thank you very much for inviting me here today. Uh, my name is Miss Caroline Vaz. I am the principal of Green Lawns High School at Warden Road, and I am very very happy to be associated with OLL. Who's doing fabulous work in the education sector? Absolutely, thank you so much, ma'am, for your time on a Monday morning in uh, school hours, which you have given. Uh, so, my first question to you is: You are an example for all the schools, not only in your area but also nationally. So, can you just help you know tell them uh, uh, what other schools can learn from you? From like, what all skills you all are implementing in your school? and how you all are doing it so that they can learn from you okay uh in fact we are really really into a number of skill training for our children because i think today it's very very important it's yeah. not just teaching of mathematics and english and history and geography so we teach a lot of financial uh, literacy we uh, do it by project way we have a lot of uh, skills like carpentry we have gardening and the best skill i think what is the need of the art today is robotics and ai which uh, ollll is handling very well right from grade 1 to grade 10 our children are very happy and they are doing fabulously well then the most important skill today i think i think is the soft skill which we are stressing a lot upon and that is uh, eq in fact last year was the year of happiness in our school where every friday the children dressed into smart casuals and celebrated happiness day and this year we are stressing a lot on empathy emotional quotient so we uh, you know uh, we organize canteens and we collect those funds and like today itself our children have gone to tata memorial hospital Oh, where yeah. they have donated 1 lakh that they have generated through canteens so wow. our yeah. our head girl head boy and along with the parent and teacher have gone to the hospital to donate that money for children of tata memorial hospital so these are small little things you know small little values that we can inculcate in our children and Absolutely. i think it's very important today to be sensitive to the needs of others thank you shreyansh okay. yeah that's uh, that's truly a very very amazing point you have put out that uh, you really all have on every friday kids would come in as happy day that was a really interesting thing that maybe everybody can you know include in their schools as well uh, my next question to you is as you spoke about robotics in your school what are your thoughts on technology and ai replacing our kids jobs and how can we prepare them for the future yeah. i uh, i think today what children are learning and getting themselves trained may not even be the kind of jobs that will be 20 or 10 even 10 years from today you know today they are, we have these uh, mobile phones and laptops and ipads and with ai coming in so progressively tomorrow they'll have it on their person they'll have it on their clothes they'll have it on their body maybe on in in their body in, implanted you never really know that we can't even say children don't come with mobiles to school don't bring this to school don't bring that because they'll have it on on their person so i think we need to change our attitude change our mindset we need to progress with time and we need to train children according to the changing times and keep them prepared for the world of tomorrow wow i wish every principal was like you miss so progressive so uh, forward looking it's a very great thought uh the next question to you is uh, you know kids have started coming up with startup ideas and company ideas uh, i myself am an 18 year old entrepreneur so what are your thoughts on students becoming entrepreneurs and how can we should we encourage it should we introduce them to money early on how should it happen uh i think you are a living example shreyansh i've always admired you when i've heard you speak at principals meetings on how you progressed and your ted talk and uh, i mean marvelous shreyansh keep going and i think we should encourage children to become entrepreneurs very important uh because as i said 
there is dignity of labor. So, you know, to some, I may want to be an engineer, I may want to be a doctor, I may want to be a chartered accountant, but there are some children who say, Miss, I want to be a beatboxer. Miss, I want to be a chef. So it's absolutely fine. Every job has it has dignity of labor. And I think we should encourage children to take up what they like, to do what they're most passionate about. Because if they're passionate about something, they will definitely be successful in it. Like you, Shreyansh, for example, you're so passionate about you know what you're doing. And I think you're doing a fabulous job and your parents are so Thank proud of you. Okay, great. So, uh, re really a great thought, ma'am. Like, uh, you know, there should be more encouragement for kids for whatever they really, really want to do as a passion. Uh, let's now dive into the rapid fire round. So, in the rapid fire round, I will ask the question and you have to answer only in one word. Okay. You're scaring me, Shriyansh. Now you've become okay. a teacher and making me a, a pupil. <laughs> no, no. This is a very fun round. So, you don't need to worry. Okay. But... Uh, uh, it's you have to be very quick. Whatever comes in your mind first, that only. You oh have. my God! Okay. So you're a uh, you're a principal, and your student tomorrow has a board exam, and at the same day and time, they have a international level competition. Which one will mm -hmm. you ask them to go to? Oh, uh, I'd definitely ask them to go for the international level competition. Okay. And, I, and I'll request the council to give them another uh, whatever paper or something like that. If it's in my, uh, I'll definitely do that because I think today, sorry, am I answering too long? It should, <laughs> should be one word. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Not a problem. Miss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my second question is, uh, if you could go back to school in today's time, what would you learn? What would I? Learn. Ah, uh, if I could go back in school in today's time, I would love technology. Because in our days, we never had technology. We never had the computer. And I would just love to learn that. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, my next question is, if you had all the resources in the world, all the money, all the infrastructure, all the teachers, what would you introduce for your students? For my students, I would introduce each one, teach one. Yeah. Because today, in many parts of the world, of our India, in, in, our, in our own country, in the remote areas, there are girls who are married at such young ages. They are not encouraged to learn. They're not even shown the doors of school. So I would definitely encourage our children, each one, teach one, try to educate okay, the women child. Wow. Uh, you know, this is the most unique answer I've heard when someone gets most of the resources. Usually, they'll say that I'll, I'll create five new buildings and I'll add new sports complexes. You said I will create an each one teach one program. That's a very, very great thing. Uh, Thank you. Would you want your students to be job seekers or job creators? Job creators. Would you want uh, um, your students to focus on the degree or the learning outcome? The learning outcome definitely okay and lastly a small uh like a this is not the rapid fire round is over but the okay. last is so did i win the, the hamper yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like current joe's hamper coffee with Savishriyansh. <laughs> yes okay uh, but we would all like to know a short experience of yours of you learning some skill and it coming in use in your life Something that you really wish, you know, uh, you learned and you got it in use that you think a, a success story of a skill. A success story of a skill. Okay. Uh, let me tell you, I think the most important skill is to be consistent. All right. Uh, honestly speaking, it's very, very important today, not just to preach but to practice what you preach. And uh, I have I have tried my best, you know, in trying to incorporate exercise with children, climbing up the stairs. I have a lot of letters from parents saying, let them use the lift. So what I do is I myself climb those six floors and I climb down those six floors because I believe this should be an example that we could set to these children. That if your principal is climbing, I think you jolly well do that because exercise today 
is very very important for health unfortunately i don't lose weight <laughs> i think happy, <laughs> happy people put on weight and i'm very happy <laughs> so well but that's i think very important today absolutely miss and uh, i really really you're an example for every other principal out there to be progressive to be forward looking to be really consistent so miss please do continue with that uh, you're a really thank really you example yeah thank you shreyansh very kind of you and thank you for all the good job that you're doing you're really making us principals feel so proud of you and i'm sure your principal at cathedral will yeah. also be very proud of you mrs isaacs yeah thank yeah. you shreyansh god bless you child and all thank the best you. yeah